It's time for our weekly newscast, our last one for the school year. Make sure to stay tuned to the end for our yearly newscast bloopers. The end of the school year is also quickly approaching and there are some deadlines and dates to pass along to you. First, tutoring logs are due today. Make sure you have cooperating teachers sign off on them before you turn them in. Second, remediation hours are dwindling away. There's only about 20 hours left for underclassmen. Finally, here's a schedule for seniors for the next week. Sunday is the Baccalaureate at the First Church of God. Seniors have to arrive at 3.30 and must wear their caps and gowns. Graduation practice will be held on Wednesday at 10 and you also have to wear your cap and gowns there as well. Thursday is the Senior Movie Day and then the Academic Reception that night. Seniors have to line up in their caps and gowns at 5.30 Friday morning in the Senior Fun Day at the Career Center and the graduation will be held at 7 Friday night. Congratulations to the April students of the month. They are Olivia Krutz, Savannah Aaron, Timberly Mashing, and Rachel Crumley. Another congratulations to next year's ambassadors. A list has been posted on the window of the main office and you should be receiving an order form for shirts. That's it for news and announcement. Here's Jordan with sports. Thanks. We've got some scores to pass along to you from the past week. The baseball team played last Friday at Malden and lost that game by a score of 9-4. On Monday, they played at Puxco and won 15-6. And yesterday's game at Popper Bluff was rained out. Tonight, they play their last regular season game here at home against Naylor. The softball team played Neelyville on Friday and Monday. They won both of those games 11-1 and 18-4. Tuesday, they played Twin Rivers at home and won 4-2. And Thursday's game at Alton was called off because of the rain. That's it for sports this week. Here's Gage with the weekend weather forecast. Thanks. A very nice weekend in this in the forecast. Saturday will be partly sunny at 76. Sunday, mostly sunny at 79. And more of the same on Monday with a high of 75. That's our last newscast of the school year. To close things out, we've put together some of our goofy and less than perfect moments from behind the scenes of the newscast. Are we ready? Uno, dos, tres, go. Welcome back. A very fall like weather forecast for the weekend. Don't make fun of me. You can have it if you want it. Is it like? <laughs> yeah. I, I worked on this hair forever. It looks terrible today, anyway. So. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. Oh, dang it. How's my hair? Good stuff. Oh, good stuff. No, no, no. Make sure I'm looking good. Come on, get this side. Get this side. Not you, Connor. All right, thanks, my dude. No problem. That's it for sports this week. Here's your weekends. I was almost there. I was almost there. And this guy, this guy wants to back up. The dinner is sponsored. Uh, okay. It's a lot of words. The theme for prom has been voted on, and the junior class has chosen the fairy tale theme this year. I can't handle all this. <laughs> What the heck is happening here? Dude, this looks weird. Come here, look, come here. Look at the water bottle in the reflection. It looks like it's looks like it's setting at us. Alright, enough of that. Let's go. I can hear it too, I don't know where we're coming from, but I can hear it. It's 144. <laughs> We got two trucks back there. Yeah. Wow, a job fair was held on Wednesday at the Career Center. More than a dozen, dozen, because that's that's a new word. The prom committee will be on. Uh, what am I saying? Valentine's Day is just a couple weeks around. Couple weeks around. <laughs> Homecoming will be held next Friday at the game against Cape Central. <laughs> Dang it! All proceeds will go to scholarships. On Tuesday, the boys move to the Bulldog. Bulldog. Tickets are five dollars each, and there will be only a thousand tickets.
You done? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's nice. Keep it coming. Oh! Oh! Earlier this year, we told you about Thomas Hawks making a perfect score on the ACT. For the first, oh, that's a whole sentence. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But the date for prom has been set for April 14th. The prom committee will be. It has a two cylinder engine. That's it for sports. We'll be back with more news and announcements after this quick. Oh. It's recording. In sports this week. Oh, oh, that almost got bad. We should have the newscast end with some bubbles. I like it. I like it.